What's up, Fit Body Nation? So today it's Wednesday. So here's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna focus on abs today, and I know I said yesterday that we weren't going to do just all ab exercises. Once I started writing the workout, got inspired, wrote a ton of abdominal exercises that are mostly just focused on abs altogether. So we do have a little bit of cardio in there as well to mix it up. 22 exercises, we'll spend 45 seconds on each one. We'll take five seconds only to transition. There's no rest, not for 22 minutes basically. We're gonna do the warm up for two minutes. Not gonna take a lot because it's just abs. So after the warm up, we'll rest for a minute and then we're gonna go straight into the workout. So let's get ready to rock and roll. All right, we're gonna start our warm up. So three minutes is going. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's stretch our abs out real quick. So I want you to walk your hands back to your hips. Okay, good. Relax your stomach towards the ground. There you go. And pushing back on the palms of your hands. Look up to the ceiling and relax out of it. Good. Now, rotate your arm under. This is gonna loosen our back and core up along with the actual abdominals. Perfect, because we've done some back exercise the last few days, so we don't want to pull anything. All right, so for our first warm up, what I want you to do is a extremely slow sit up. We're not going for a ton of reps. All we're doing is getting a little bit of blood flow into the abdominals. That's it. So since we don't have a whole lot of time, we're gonna take them extremely slow. This will turn the brain on. It'll tell the body where to start pumping the blood. Good. That's it. So nothing crazy. Nice and slow. Perfect. Now you're going to sit up and reach across. Coming back down. Sit up, reach across. Coming back down. Keeping it slow. There you go. That's it. Now from this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip it over. I want you to take it into an exaggerated squat thrust. So feet all the way in, all the way back out. In. There you go. All the way back out. Now notice. I'm landing with my feet flat. So what we're gonna do now, land with your feet flat, stand up, back down. So, feet flat, stand up, back down. There you go. Good, that's it, perfect. So nothing crazy on this one today. Nothing strenuous. Good. Now, what I want you to take it into is a mountain climber. And again, you're gonna do an extremely exaggerated movement. So from here, stand up, switch, Stand up. Good. Standing up. And this one is also, it's an original exercise. I haven't done it before, but it works as a warm up or an exercise, okay? Good. It was one I was playing around with the other day. So, okay, so we keep it to our minute of rest in between. We're going to go ahead and stop there. Like I said, extremely short warm up, just enough to get the heart going and to get the blood flowing. But, our first exercise we're going to be starting with is going to be a squat thrust, but we're going to be jumping over the yoga mat with our feet. So what we'll do is we'll start on one side of the yoga mat, we'll do our squat thrust, feet in and out, and then we'll jump, bringing our feet over, okay? So 45 seconds on that one. All right, like I said, once we start, it's going to be one exercise to the next. I'll try to keep on top of what exercise is coming up, but you know me, I get tired and Sometimes I lose my train of thought. So, we'll see though. Eight seconds and we're starting. It doesn't have to be a big movement or a big jump on this, but get those squat thrusts going. So here we go. So feet in, feet out, jump across. Feet in, feet out, jump across. Now your hands stay in the same place. Your feet are moving, but your hands, they are not. Good. Now, you can definitely jump a lot higher over the mat. The reason I'm not is I'm barefooted. And so, I'm not trying to slam my toes into the ground. Not with the first exercise at least. That would suck. All right, we got about 20 seconds left. There we go, I'm looking at the next exercise. Perfect, I can already see it. It's a good one, keeping it early on. Eight seconds left on this. Then we'll have our five second transition. Good, three seconds. Perfect, so on your butt, all right, this next one's an alternating foot grab. So bring your left one in, grab your foot, right one in, grab your foot. Reason I'm going barefooted today so you can see. Good. That's it. Perfect. You got it. And it's too nice of weather outside not to. It's like gorgeous out here. I love it. Definitely fall season. All right, so bringing your feet back, touching your fingers together, grabbing those heels. 
Grabbing the arches there. There we go. All right, the next exercise we'll be going into is a Russian twist. So make sure you get a dumbbell close for this one. I thought I did, but I'll grab one. 10 seconds left. Remember, we'll have time to transition though, so you don't have to panic. Good, three seconds, two, one. Grab a dumbbell. We've got a Russian twist coming up next. You can keep your feet up or down, but side to side, making sure you're leaning back on this. There we go. Perfect. All right, keep moving. Side to side, rotate. There you go, good. Come on. You can do it. I know you can. All right, that's it. You're going to like the next exercise. We're going to add onto our normal boxer crunch that we would do, and we're going to actually add some strikes in there. I'll show you what I'm talking about in about 16 more seconds. Good. So keep turning on this, rotating around with the body, really working the obliques, the love handles. Five more seconds. Keep rotating. Two, one. Okay, relax. So in this next one, it's a boxer crunch. You're gonna sit up. When you do your crunch like this, strike with the left. Sit up, strike with the right. So crunch with the strike. If you got super light weights, like two pound dumbbells, you can hold the dumbbells and do it. Good, little added resistance. I'm not even gonna attempt it with a 20 pound dumbbell. That would just look ridiculous. But make sure you're getting that crunch in there. All right, the strike is just an extra bonus. You get the most work out of the crunch though. There we go. Perfect. And we're gonna be staying on our back going into the next exercise. So, not a big transition from this one to the next one. There we go. That's it. Keep it up. Don't stop. Almost there. Good, all right. So stay on your back. This one's gonna be a pulse up. So, feet are on the ground. Press your hips up, right back down. You can do this one slower, you can do it faster. Some of you it might be comfortable, some of you it may not be. My wife hates doing this exercise. Good, but well, some people love it. It is great for the upper abdominals though, all right? So pressing, heels straight up. You can keep your hands on your stomach, you can keep them down so you can press into the ground with them. Good, 17 seconds. We're gonna be doing my very favorite loved exercise next, a full pike. Good. Actually, nope, we're gonna start with a uh, alternating. Alternating full pike. Good. Keep pressing those heels up. All right, five seconds, so stand on your back. Legs straight. So, alternating, so bring one foot up. Try to reach up, touch your toe. Right foot up, try to reach up, touch your toe. Good, I'm gonna keep this pace. It's a good pace. Not too fast, so that way we actually get a lot of toning out of this. All right, there we go. Good. Reaching up, touching your toes. Come on, you can do it. We got this. That's it, just don't stop. Almost there, almost through it. Good, come on, keep moving. That's it, you got it. 10 more seconds. Almost there. Eight more seconds. Four more seconds, come on. We got this, two and one. All right, now we got a full pike, both feet together this time. Same exercise. This is the one I hate. I hate this one, and half pikes. All right, reaching up, try to touch your toes. At least the first few seconds. I should have put these like the very first exercise in the beginning, just to get them out of the way. Good. All right, we got this, and the next exercise is not too bad. So let's fight through on this one. 19 seconds left. That's it. Whoo! Keep working, keep working, let's go. We all got exercises that are our weakness. This is definitely mine. Good, four seconds. Two, one. All right, might have miscounted. So now we're gonna be going into a heel touch. So extend your heels about two feet away from your butt. You're gonna reach up and over to the side. Now, as long as your shoulder blades are staying off the ground, you're crunching the entire time. Hence the reason this one works. If you're laying flat on your back, you will get nothing out of it. All right, and try to reach over. Get as close to your heels as you can. Good. 
The next one that we do will be when you need a broomstick or a weighted bar. Or if you don't have that, don't worry about it. Good. There we go, that's it. Perfect. There we go, excellent. We got about eight seconds left. Almost there, five seconds. Reaching over towards the heels. Good. And relax, five seconds. So for this one, we're calling it the kayaker. It's gonna be just like you were in a kayak. So you're gonna shift from side to side. This is kind of like a Russian, all right? But not quite. So this bar I have, it may weigh two to five pounds. It's not super heavy, but it's not really about being heavy. It's about the balance that it takes. Good, so the wider you go with your grip, the harder it's gonna be. Keep those feet up if you can. Good, we got this. The next one is gonna be high knees, but we're putting a little spin on it. Perfect, 17 seconds. Keep them going. That's it. There we go. Almost there, eight seconds. Come on, keep working with me, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and beep. All right, done with the bar. So for the high knees, we're calling them cool knees. You're gonna take your arms across, here we go. So for the high knees, keep your arms crossed. Actually, let's cross them just like you were if you are trying to play cool, okay? So we're doing high knees this way, and we're also gonna be doing a squat jump in this variation. This is gonna raise your heart rate, forcing more cardio, forcing a higher calorie burn. All right, 25 seconds. Keep the arms crossed. Keep them crossed. I know it's difficult, but give it your best on this as well. So get those knees up. Don't let them drop. Come on, we're almost halfway through this. There we go. Actually, we are halfway. The next exercise is exactly halfway. Six more seconds, come on. We're mixing it up every single one. Now, squat jumps in five seconds, keeping those arms crossed, cool jumps. Whew. All right, here we go. So, squat jumps. Keep it arms crossed. That's it, you got it. Let's keep moving on this one. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I like to see. Keep it up. There we go. So keep the weight on your heels. Good, 25 seconds. That's it. Come on, we're gonna make it. And after this one, we're going into a floor tap jack, which I'll show you what it is. I don't think we've done it before. But possibly. I know a few of these exercises are new today. Felt like we need to add some new exercises in there. Keep it mixed up. Three seconds. One, relax, okay. Floor tap jack, start with your feet together. Now reach down with both hands, touch the ground, feet wide, touch the ground. So it's like an in and out, but you're reaching down with both hands and touching the ground with every single rep. There's seriously a squirrel over there. That is so big, I thought it was a dog coming up to me. That's a huge, huge squirrel. I think he'll do fine this winter. All right, 22 seconds. Keep moving. You wanna to try to maintain the pace, a good pace. But after this one, we're gonna be on the ground. Okay, so get ready to drop it down. Pretty much into a push-up position. Next, got five seconds. Good, three, Two, one, relax. Okay, we're doing an X striker next. We've done these before, just different name. So, it's like a plank jack, but your hands are also moving with the motion. Okay, Whew. here we go. So 45 seconds, that's it, perfect. And after this one, we're going into a front or a side plank. A side plank. Ah, these are not easy on cement when you're barefooted. That's some rougher cement than it looks like. All right, 13 seconds. Whew. Perfect. Okay, slowing down on that one. So here we go. It's definitely about the pace on this one. Ah. All right, lock it out, whatever side you want to start with. We're doing a side plank with a hip dip. So lock it out, get your balance. Once you have it, I want you to lower your hip into the ground. If you need to, you can put your foot down to help a balance or your hand, all right? But ultimately, side plank with the hip dip. Good, there we go, that's it. 
24 seconds. Keep moving. I almost threw it. You got 16 seconds and counting. Almost there. 10 seconds left on this side. And then we're switching. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Switch around. Other side. Hip dips in two, one. All right, let's go. So let's enjoy this last one. It's not easy, but it'll less, at least let you catch your breath. So keep them going. Hip dip, hip dip, hip dip all day long. Bringing it up, back down. After this, we're going into burpees. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. You can do it. Keep working with me. Keep moving. Excellent. 17 seconds. My sweaty foot is slipping. There we go. I didn't think of that when I went barefooted. Whew. Eight seconds. Got burpees coming up. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right. So now five seconds up to your feet. We're going to be starting burpees. Here we go. So now down, push up, back up, jump. Got to get some extra cardio in there with this one today. Here we go. So burpees are definitely a full body. They're great for building endurance, great for building abs, great for building overall just strength, good muscle definition. If I had to pick one exercise I could only do for the rest of my life, for the best results, it would be this one. Definitely not the funnest, but you do get a ton of results out of it. All right, keep working. 13 seconds left. That's it. We got about nine seconds and counting. Good. You got five seconds. Perfect. Come on. Three, two, one. Relax. Okay. Now is a yoga mat hop. Okay. So here, you're just jumping from side to side. Again, we're keeping the cardio, the endurance going. Okay. Perfect. So with this one, you don't have to jump high, but I want you to keep a consistent pace. Good. And after this one, we're going to be going into a side side crunch where both feet stay together so it's called a V up good now for these side jumps I want you to squat a little bit lower good when you land here we go perfect 13 seconds excellent we got about nine seconds so keep on working you can do it five seconds three two one all right pick a side you want to lay on Side crunches. All right, both feet together on this one. So you're gonna reach up. Ideally, you want to touch your ankle. Okay, I bend my knees when I do it. So since I want to keep my knees perfectly straight, I'm only gonna reach as far as I can. Whew, and I got short arms. <laughs> All right, keep moving. 25 seconds. That's it. But notice when I put my feet back down. I don't rest them on the ground, I stop them. All right, my thigh hits the ground, but that's it. Good, 10 seconds. Almost there. We've got about eight seconds and counting. About five seconds and counting. Three, two, one, switch it around. All right, we're doing good. We've literally only got three exercises left after this. So when you take the, the rest time to almost zero, Woo. It definitely makes the workouts go by when you can't think about it. All right, good. 34 seconds. Keep it up. My left side is definitely stronger than my right. This side's not quite as tough. Good. Maybe I should reach higher. Make a little more of a challenge then. There we go. 17 seconds. All right, next is going to be a pulse crunch. So we're actually going to be on our back for the next one. And it'll be a very fast crunch. Good. And once your shoulder blades are off the ground, they'll stay off the ground. Two. One more rep. Good. Okay, on your back. So now, shoulder blades come up. Keep them up. Now, it's a fast crunch from here. So basically, you're going to the highest point of the crunch and starting from there. So that way, you get that tight squeeze and just that little bit of movement. Good, keep it up, my mouth is so dry. Whew, no water breaks makes it hard. But 
no reason to stop. We're almost done. Keep moving. After this one, we're going to be doing a standing crunch, but we're going to do it with a reverse lunge thrown in. So we've got a little bit more of effect. Good. There we go. Perfect. 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 Four seconds. Two. One. All right. Up to your feet. Multitask. All right. So step back, crunch. Step back, crunch. You want to take your knee to the opposite elbow. So that way it's kind of like a bicycle crunch but standing. So the reverse lunge in there just makes it that much better. Good. Perfect. 25 seconds. Good news is we've only got one exercise left after this. And we're going to do the exercise that we started with. For our warm up actually. There we go. Good. You might remember what that is. You might not. But you'll see. You'll remember real quick. Six seconds. Three, two, one. All right, on your back. So we're doing a negative sit up. I don't care how fast you sit up, but when you go back, go as slow as you can. Once you hit that breaking point, right back up as fast as you can. So slow going down, fast going up. Perfect. That's it, we got it. Almost there. 25 seconds, keep it slow. Good, 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 come on. Moving back, 19 seconds. We're gonna get you ready for that 1,000 calorie burner this weekend. Hope you're telling your friends. Ah, suffer together. That's why I like doing these workouts with you. That way I know I'm not suffering by myself anymore. Three seconds. And that's it. That is the end of the workout. We're gonna get the three beeps. Here we go. <laughs> I made sure to double check it today so I knew it was gonna happen. All right, Fit Buddy Nation, I love you guys. That is our Wednesday workout. So be back tomorrow, Thursday. I know out of the week, that is the most skipped workout all week. And I know sometimes I do throwbacks and it's just one of those crazy days that you catch up on and you know, life happens. But be back tomorrow, we will have a fresh workout. It won't be a throwback or anything like that. Um, get some rest, get yourself ready for Saturday, all right? Love you guys, subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you back tomorrow.